dig a little deeper. Come on, dig over here. Hey, how about digging up a can of beer, huh? Come on, that ain't where the end of the rainbow is. Over here. Hey, Come push, on, push over get here. back here. All right, back up, back up. Now you stay open inside of the fence. And that goes for the rest of you, too. Smart, sitting in that rocker like it was a throne, making the whole world do like you want. Where did you put that money? You think it's smart to carry on like that with a gang of convicts listening to everything? You got no right to keep me from it. Where is it? There's a lot of books in the house. Why don't you read one? Maybe you'd find out. Oh, you're a liar. But you look, won't you? Oh, you think it's so smart to tease me, not letting me be what I want to be. Well, anything that happens is going to be your fault, not mine. You remember now. You remember I warned you. Make a whole meal out of a handful of dates and a bowl of camel's milk. Great, let's get a bowl and put it under the car. <laughs> Come on, they're good for you. Sir, fellas, what'll it be? You mean there's a choice? Dates, what else? Sure, we got them, every shape and size. How about blind dates? Ah, that sweet thing. Mm, you can say that again. Nah, she's already spoke for him. Mr. Darcy, she's his ward, he adopted her. The way he sees it, she'll marry him sooner or later. Meantime, He's just waiting her out. Mr. Cooper, I'm going to have to take advantage of your good nature again. I couldn't find any of them lazy drifters to help me come in and load that stuff. Now, I, I don't mind doing it myself if you can't find nobody. I don't care what it does to my hands and my nails. You will not. That's no work for a pretty lady. You just mix yourself up a date milkshake here. You just relax in the shade. I'll go and find a couple of them boys. I don't know why he had to rush off like that. You already got yourself a couple of boys. Who day? Hey, you looking for jobs? Just looking, coast to coast. Oh, you're just tourists, huh? That depends. Sometimes we stay. Oh, I wish we had a car like that. Instead of that old truck. Hey, what's your names? Todd and Buzz. Well, I'm sweet thing. Hey, when you decide to stay a while, what makes you decide? Somebody offers us a job. If we like it, we stay. Well, I don't know anything about you two. Well, see ya. How else can you expect to learn? Well, you see, I'm the lady of the house. 
You'll have to come around and talk to Adam if you want to. My mama used to always say, a girl got no sense for business. And I never make any promises. They stuff martinis in their dates? Oh, sure. It's an old Egyptian recipe. King Farouk. Common? What do you suppose King Farouk would have said about sweet thing? I don't know. Ask General Nasser. See the way she walks? Like out of Arabian Nights. Now, what do you know about Arabian Nights? That's the sad thing. Not enough. Not nearly enough, Todd, old buddy. Heads or tails? You know, we don't need the job and we don't need the money. Yeah, but how would it look if we told people we were in Indio and never picked a date? <laughs> Contractor this job. Now it isn't any of my business what your fight with the Division of Highways is. I just warn you, don't fight with me. Now that's my you pull down there. Now how about letting one of these men come down there and drive it off your property? You can have your you pull when you run that road a hundred yards to the right of my property and not before. You have to use that gadget to make you sound important? I can hear you. Mr. Darcy, I'm Holcomb, Highways Division Engineer in charge of this project. Now, I'm sorry that one of our drivers parked the equipment on your front lawn. That was a mistake. But that doesn't give you the right to build a fence around it in the middle of the night. I bought this truck of land to be mine. The law guaranteed it was mine. You can change the law, but you can't change my rights. Get in there and take that rifle away from him. Look, at that's his porch. That's his rifle. There's nothing I can do till after he shoots one of us. Yeah, well, this is costing me $3,000 a day. Well, what are you his lawyer for if you can't make him do things? Well, I'm his lawyer and his cousin, Mr. Willis, but I'm on your side. Uh, let me explain to my client that... You explain to him that I'll get the militia oh, out here. Now, now, will that really be necessary? He's a little peculiar, always has been, but he can be handled. They catch more flies with honey than vinegar, you know. Adam, every member of our family is hanging his head in shame. Jeff said to me the other night, Orrin, he said, why can't Adam be sound and sensible like you? What's her first name? Sweet Thing. Her true legal name is Sweet Thing. Sweet Thing. Hey, Sweet Thing, would you mind coming up here a minute? Yeah, I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to talk some sense to you. Sweet Thing, come back here. Tom! Tom! Come out here and drag her back in the house! Tom, come out here! I don't think old Tom hears you. In fact, we don't have no cook anymore, Mr. Stubborn Darcy. We don't have nobody. You just wear yourself out doing nothing. Old Tom lit out of here hours ago as soon as he found out he had to do everything and he was alone. <laughs> Get up there and fix it. Oh, you are comical. I hate you right down to the grizzle, but you do make me laugh. You're comical. Comical! 
political. Hey, you got any men up there? Come and get them. What are you afraid of his rifle? He's only bluffing. Sweet thing. <laughs> Sweet poison. Real he-men. Sweet thing. You still think I'm bluffing? You point that thing away from me. Now you get in that house. I got a hunch you boys could use a little extra change. Huh? How about it? Well, come on. All you gotta do is grab him from the sides, and maybe from the rear, and grab the rifle. Now, come on, Willis. Well, what about it? Come on, let's hear some volunteers. It's a quick five bucks apiece. Look, Willis, these men are here under the honor system, and I'm responsible for every one of them. Now, every man here is up for parole. All right, all right, forget it. If it don't rain soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. Hey, Goss. Here are the rest of your supplies. Now, if your men want the privilege of camping on the job, they'll stay out of trouble. Now, stay on this side of the fence no matter what happens. There'll be a chaplain here tomorrow. Visiting privileges right after roll call. All right, you guys, let's get that stuff straightened away. What do you want for supper? Well, I guess I'll have to fry something. Can't you do anything with food except fry it? was brought up to be pretty, not do things. Mm, you must get so tired and achy to sit in there day after day. Sometimes I feel so melancholy for you. What would you want to marry no use thing like me for? Hmm? I owed it to your mother and father, sweet thing. I told him I'd take care of you. But I'm here, ain't I, Adam? In California. That's my future. Every fortune teller that Mama ever went to used to say so. Earliest words I ever heard was folks telling Mama beauty contest was my sure bread. Weren't they right? From the time I was 14. Your sure bread's right here, sweet thing. Right on this date ranch. With me as your husband, if you'll just say the word. Oh, how I'd like to take y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead, tear him out. But I'll never let you know where that money is. tell you not to play poker, I'll tell you. Don't ever play poker. What? Got a face like a mirror. Anybody could look at it and see the reflection of what you're holding. What are you talking about? Patience, patience. Do you think she's Swiss? With a southern accent. You never heard of a southern part of Switzerland? Oh, she's Swiss, all right. You get that mainspring action? Oh, boy. Hey, how much further the man say it was? Oh, he said it's where the road runs out. The road runs right into Darcy's property. Incidentally, old man, speaking of the Darcy property, she 
is only his ward. That's what I mean. You're supposed to protect a ward. You heard the story. Man said he sits on his front porch with a rifle protecting him. But he can't cover all the bases. Not with Sweet Thing in the ball game. And there's a base stealer if I ever saw one. Does the bear ask the bee if he can steal the honey? Where did you get that? Out of an old book of Proverbs? Just made it up. Does the bear ask the bee if he can steal the honey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about a year and a half ago out of one of my ponds. Come time to walk, seems I couldn't. But don't let my legs fool you. I run the state ranch. I mean, I run it. You draw your wages here, you work. Now, if that scares you, there's the road. Doesn't scare us. Well, I will see. Murdoch, you say, huh? Right. Tie a knot in that cord, will you? I ring that bell whenever I want something. I had to holler all last year. Made me sound like I was mad at the world. I guess I was. I thought I couldn't reach that art. If he can bury that money, he gets around. Oh, I don't know for sure if it's buried. All I know is he hid it someplace. Well, are you going to help me or aren't you? I don't know, sweet thing. I can't make up my mind. Oh, by the time you make it up, I might not be around. I might be someplace where I belong. All excited over some big movie director. Or producer, maybe. <laughs> Why, you lying awake at night. The man who lost out because he couldn't make up his mind. Yeah, but sweet thing, to beat up a guy like that, a guy with crutches. Oh, can anybody ever forget about those crutches? I bet he fell out of that tree on purpose. I bet he did. He's good. He's wicked and selfish enough. Besides, I never told you to beat him up. What do you think I am? You shouldn't have to lay a finger on him. Not for real. He's only got to think you would. <laughs> uh -uh, no down payments. You gotta learn to move. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you two is a good kitchen mechanic? He's a genius. Thanks. Hey, what are all these holes here? Looks like a giant gopher's been at work. A sweet thing. She's been working pretty hard lately. Oh. Well, maybe we could take some of the work off her hands. Meaning what? Well, you said it's her hobby.
Rape it against a tree. Them trees. Sometimes they get just plain wild, don't they? Gosh, don't be a dope. You spit that fire and try to put it out. It's how easy I can get her out of my system. Scorpion's thing. Here, hold this on your head. Thanks. I don't know, I just don't get it. You know, for a girl named Sweet Thing, she sure swings a mean chair. She's got some strong friends. Was this trip really necessary? Maybe she dropped it this morning. She was uh, cleaning. Yeah. And while she was cleaning, she swept everything under the rug, and then somebody stole the rug. <laughs> I'd offer you a chair, but I'm afraid I'd have to glue it together again. Don't bother. Somebody just hit us over the head with it again. Look, why don't we get out of here right now? What? Just because you came in the door and somebody gave you a helping hand? Well, that's a little overstated, but that's the way they do things in Indio. To make you feel to home. We're glad you're here. I'm going to sleep and... Rest a couple of these heads I got. I don't think you should do that. You know, the welcoming committee may come back. I think we should straighten the place up a little, don't you? Boy, the guys who lived here before must have thought a broom was for killing rats. It was your idea, Arabian Nights. I got some clean sheets for you. Taylor slips and towels. Oh, doing your housework. Ain't that cute? Men are so fabulous around the house. I've never been able to learn anything like that. <laughs> My mommy used to always say it was a sign that I was born to be waited on. That wasn't a sweet thing to say. Are you looking for something? No, I'm just inspecting your housework. Oh, my, that's a darling car you got out there. I do hope you'll invite me to take a ride in it. You're invited. Well, thank you. It certainly is nice to have gentlemen around here, and not those whiskey-nosed loafers we had here before. And those men across the way. I've been so scared. You now they walk around like anybody. They don't even chain them up at night. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're here. We're glad. You're glad. But I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Standing and talking with two strange men. Oh, and attractive, too. Adam, he is such a jealous one. Jealous? I thought he was your guardian. Well, he is, but poor Precious, there hasn't been a day he hasn't asked me to marry him. I don't mind. He's been good to me. Sometimes I think I shouldn't mind giving out my career. Hmm? Oh, well, I'm an actress. I know it. Oh, you're just kidding. Oh, my, that's a darling car. Oh, if I hit something like that. Oh, I reckon I'm just as silly. I never have things like that. You see a look for the earring? Well, why didn't you give it to her or let her find it? When the right time comes, Buzz, don't reach for the candy. Somebody's watching the bowl. Somebody with a full head of steam and a loaded rifle.
Styles, is that you? Somebody stole my car keys. Could have shot you. Well, I thought he ran up here. Didn't you hear him? One of them? I don't know. I didn't actually see him. I ran out too late. Well, who else could it be? That just leaves me and your friend. And I haven't done any running in quite some time. You can report in the morning. There'll be a prison guard coming around to take roll call. There's no emergency. I've got a set of duplicates. What about your car? It'll lack a couple of parts till I'm ready to drive it. Smart. What about the prowler? What about him? Can't do anything until he shows up again, can we? Styles? You haven't talked to Sweet Things since you met her at the packing house, have you? She came down to the bunkhouse. She brought us some bed linens and some towels. Just handed them to you and walked away? No. As a matter of fact, she stayed two, three minutes. I guess she was trying to make us feel welcome. She's a... Uh... She's got a fair-sized problem. Parents dead, she never really learned to take care of herself. I sort of took over for him. Kind of like a guardian. And this happened. Average girl would get panicky. Feel kind of trapped. Older man and all that sort of thing. The reason I mention all this is, well, she'll probably tell you all kinds of things. I don't want you to pay any attention to her. You understand? Yeah. There's no trap. She can have a good life here if she'll just get some of that nonsense out of her head. Kind of like this land when I first bought it. I had to fight it every inch of the way. Wouldn't support anything but cactus and lizards. First palms I put in, the desert killed them. All the sweat I poured down, the desert just drank it up. One of things its own way. Cactus and lizards. <laughs> well, you were here in the daytime. You saw my place. Was it better off being desert? It looks good. It is good. It's productive. It's got value. If there's such a thing as happy land, this is it. But it had to lose first. And there were women like that, too. Night time and heat make a man talk too much. <sighs> time we had some rain. Good night, Styles. I get some sleep with all those lights. You didn't sleep at all? Not a wink. Sorry. Boy, wait till I tell you all the things that happened while you were wide awake. Tell the whole world what you've got in your mind.
That's all you want for breakfast? Around here, never say that's all about a date shake. Or about anything that has to do with dates. Hey, uh, what happened in the living room? There's books all over the floor. It looks like a tornado went through. <laughs> I suppose somebody was looking for something, huh? For all that effort, I hope they found it. I can't figure him out. I don't know what's going on around here. What did he say about the character who swiped the keys? Nothing. He doesn't seem bothered. That's what's got me puzzled. You know, he holds off progress with a rifle, but when there's actually a prowler on the property, nothing. Well, maybe because he knows who took them. He did. Oh, come on. Why not? He wants to keep us here. I wouldn't put it past him. He's a real rooster. I told you, I heard somebody running. Well, the heat's got you. I say he swiped the keys and he moves around in low. Oh, no. You like it? Date pizza, my latest creation. Hey, what time does uh, Sweet Thing get out of bed? About uh, 12 noon? What do you care? You're not going to be asked to take her breakfast in bed. Now nah, you're going to tell me that wouldn't be nice work, too, huh? It's a nice flat. A little close to the freeway, but I thought you'd kind of like to see the cars go by. But you know, everything is so expensive. I went to the Five and Dime to get some gadgets for the kitchen. You can't get anything for a nickel or a dime anymore. Benny, that's enough cookies. We made them for Daddy. You look like you lost weight since last week. Oh, I'm going to feed you so good when you're home again. I'm going to fatten you up, that's what I'll do. Nobody will hardly know you. What's the matter? No place to bring a kid. He has to see his father. He has to know what his father looks like. And a convict? He don't even understand what that means. Well, he'll understand all right. It'll be explained to him all his life. He just made a single mistake. One mistake. That can be explained, too. Benny, they daddy's cookies. The kid have them. He's got nothing else. Go on, Benny. Have all you want. He's got a father and a mother. And we can all be together soon. Only I don't know what's come over you lately. Joe, sweetheart, listen to me. Please, listen to me. The parole people are on your side. The lawyer told me. So you can't afford the teeniest little wrong move now. And if they recommend you, well, that's the best we can get. You know, considering. Hey, Pooch! What's the matter? Pooch! What's eating you? Who are those guys? What are they doing here? Who cares? Look, we got one thing in our mind that's getting out of this bucket. Goss, don't be a dope. What's the good of throwing somebody a rope if he's got butter fingers? Right, Benny, how you been? I guess both my men are kind of jumpy these days. Sweetheart, how'd you hurt yourself? Oh, did you do anything about it? Oh, it looks so mean. Look, why don't you get out of here, leave me alone, take the kid and get out of here, huh? Sweetheart. Look what I have to do to get rid of you. Go on, take Betty and get out of here, leave me alone. if Mama would let me. I see the possibilities. Oh, I really shouldn't. If I'm going to be in pictures, I ought to be watching my figure. Hey! Do you think I'm getting plump? Hmm? <laughs> 
Oh, you're terrible. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. Men are absolutely the most stunning cooks. I've just never been able to do a thing in the kitchen. My daddy used to always say that I threw more out the door in a spoon than he'd bring back in a wheelbarrow. Was that me? Mm-hmm. Mommy used to always tell him that I just didn't belong in a kitchen. It was the wrong atmosphere for me. What atmosphere did Mama suggest? Do not ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Do you want to tell him I'm busy right now? Come on, the truck's loaded. Be there in a minute. Your friend is a real nice boy. <laughs> oh, boy, that cuts him dead. Well, he is young. Young? Well, even if you're the same age. I mean, young. You get it. Oh, you mean that you and I grew up faster because we see things the same way? Oh, I knew you understood. You mean. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think a girl can be discovered in a studio if she's a car hop or salesperson? Well, I heard stories. I don't know how true they are. Oh, well, I can tell you stories. I was brought up in the beautiful girl business. That's what my daddy calls it. Well, what you need is wardrobe and a real press agent. And they gotta see you in a real sharp car. Oh, not a pickup truck. <laughs> hey, how long are you planning to stay here? Well, that depends. Oh, I know why you took this job. Why? You heard some silly gossip about him taking his money and hiding it or something like that? Eh, who believes that routine? You go around digging holes in the ground and tearing down houses because it's uh, good for your figure. Good exercise, <laughs> right? And on you, looks great. It works. I have a feeling that we're going to be real good friends. <laughs> I got a hole in my head, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think you could be strung like a bead. Don't be where you shouldn't be. Nut. You gotta go see them, aren't you? Look at you all dressed up real pretty. You plan to wrap them around your little finger the same way you have me? Oh, I never will understand men. The whole week he says you're going to have to think about your wife and your little boy. Well, you forget what I said. <laughs> that enough. You almost made me forget. I'm a respectable girl. Almost talked me into going off with you. Breaking up another woman's home. My mama must be turning. Sweet thing. Uh, you want me to tell you what's best for you? You get your parole. Go home to your wife and you kiss her. Get yourself a nice job that'll pay you regular money. Oh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to tease me, aren't you? Well, you don't have to anymore. I'm gonna do as you say. I'll beat him, sweet thing. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Why, you filthy convict! You stay away from me or I'll scream! <laughs>
all right? Now what? Right down the alley. Okay. Get down, the glass may go. Get down. Whatever he decides to do, my cousin is a fanatic. I see. Listen to me. That's it. You win. Plans or no plans, this highway takes the jog a hundred yards back. Time for trust now, Mr. Willis. I'll take your word for it. Send your man down and tell him to drive off the uke pool. You say you're fanatic, but like the rest of the family, good at heart. Okay, you heard him, driver. Take it back up the road. You come inside now and rest yourself, Adam. You need tending. I'll get you some ice water and washcloths. Keys to the Corvette.
I thought if I couldn't walk, you'd stay. You'd be obliged to do that. And they came with that road, and I knew if I stood up to fight them, you know I was faking. And you'd hate me. I never hated anybody, Adam. You've never loved anybody, either. You could have hidden them a little more intelligently. Why did you take them? Certainly not to keep us here. Keep us from leaving. The sweet thing. Isn't that right, Mr. Darcy? Whatever I did, I did because I didn't want to lose her. I love you. And I thought if I fought for you like I fought Willis, I could get you to marry me. But it's different, isn't it? I can't hold you any more than I could hold that you pull. So you do what you want. You go off with these young fellows. I've been sitting on clover. Go ahead, take what you like. You think I'm pretty? Pretty than even you know. How about you? You think I could be a big movie star? Your name and light, sweet thing. Maybe. Just maybe I could. See, she won't leave you. What makes you so sure? He's got a sixth sense. Thank you.
has been a Screen Gems film presentation from Columbia Pictures. Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer. <laughs>